So I'm done with my planner and I just want to show you quickly what's in it. I've been using these stamps by Prima. Um, these are the Prima Princesses. I do not know who is the artist that created this stamp. Um, but I do like them. And this is Angelica. This is Maya. This is Olivia. Claire. Madeline and Renee and these were about seven dollars and ninety nine cents at photobella.com very good price for such a large stamp I mean this stamp is about as big as my hand so this little um, planner that I have here I bought it last year very economical on Amazon I'll put the link it was only six dollars and something cents with free shipping for prime members and it came with these um, these papers so it was basically this and the paper it didn't have a calendar or anything i did get a calendar at my local um, grocery store and i was using that in here and then i decided that this year i wanted to create my own pages and my own calendar so this is what i created so this is the first page and i do need to put headings here but i just got so excited that i was done with this that i wanted to show you um, before I start writing in there. So here is one of the Prima Princess. And then this is a calendar. This is the calendar stamp. And I even color coded the days that I'm off and also the different um, things that I have for that month and for the holidays. So I put all the federal ho holidays on here that I'm going to have off. And then I, I work nine hour shifts, so I get every other Friday off. So I'm in that flex schedule. So here is the next division, and this is where I'm going to put things to do. Or I think I'm putting important information in here, phone numbers and things like that. And then this one is going to be things to do. And I have here the things that I need to do. This one is going to be for my Wednesday night Bible studies. And I need to put that there. And then whenever, whatever I learn from that course, I'll put it in here. I already started. This one's going to be for Sunday morning Bible study. I haven't put anything in there. It's actually in the last planner I mixed it in. So in this planner I have, I'm going to divide out bo both of those Bible studies. So it's Wednesday night and Sunday morning. And in this one, I was playing with my oil pastels. I do not recommend using this for these small detail pa um, panels. It doesn't work. And I kept it here just because, you know, it, this is a planner. So it, it's something that I'm going to be using. So it doesn't matter that it's not everything is as pretty as, as can be. But this is a lesson for me not to use oil pastels for these. And don't know what I'm going to use that section for, but I have it here. And then I created some pa some pockets. So here's one of my pockets. Here's another pocket. So as I get things throughout the year, I'll just stuff them in here. And then this is my planner. Now one of the issue is for this planner, because I wanted to um, use this large stamp, I needed to create it at least four and a half inches wide seven inches long which the planner is not meant for um, four and a half inches wide this is more a three inch or three and a half inch wide paper so when you use this paper it closes pretty nice but when I went ahead and created this and then I created my tabs that is four and a um, actually it's four it's five inches so this is five inches because I wanted an extra inch to create my tabs and I do have a video how I created these it does make my planner a little bigger than what it it, it was meant to be but as you can see because it has this extra little um, lip or, or flap here I'm able to fold it over and then it has this little string that I'm able to close it tight with like that so I'm happy with it this way. 
if you do not want to make it that way so you'll have to get a smaller calendar I don't have a smaller calendar but you want to get a, a, a calendar that may be a little smaller than your page so maybe a calendar that will be let's see let me get my ruler so if you get a calendar that's three and a half inches actually this is four inches so if you get a calendar that's four inches then you'll be fine because then you can just stamp it and you can create your tabs four and a half a little a little larger and it still will close pretty nicely but this is what I have I love this planner because I like the front part I like the color I like that it's leather I like that it's it's a six ring bind love this planner I'm gonna keep it for a while so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna get rid of it so I'm okay with it being this way because it works for me and it fits nicely in my um, my purse so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye now